But Mark chapter number 5, I want us to see something there. Somebody is about to have power in this house. I receive it. And somebody's, somebody's authority is about to be restored in Jesus' name. I receive it. Mark 5, from verse number 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. A man with what? Clean spirit. A man with what? Unclean spirit. A man with an unclean spirit met them. Now mind you, can I go deeper? Go deeper. Do we have time? Do we have time? Yeah? Too much. If you go to chapter number four, you will realize that Jesus and his disciples were in a storm. They were in a storm. Some of you don't like what I'm about to say, but it's a sign that your capacity is big. Because when you have a big spiritual capacity, it shakes demons from afar. You have not yet met them, but they are part of your destiny and journey. They are along your way. And then they begin to bring a spiritual storm in your life. But you have not yet encountered them. Eish. I wish I was talking to the right people. Because it happens in two ways. There are those that will be fought before they meet the demons. Then there are those that are fought after they have had victory with demons. So some of you, that's why you did not understand the battles you were fighting. Because you were looking at what you have gone through and were like, but there's absolutely no reason for me to be going through what I'm going through because I did not fight anybody. I did not speak against anybody. Yeah. I don't remember praying against any demonic activities only to find that it's not about what you did now. It's about what you are about to do. Glory. I came to prophesy to a hundred people in the house. Professor. That fight is because of what you are about to do. Hundreds of souls are about to be blessed through your life. Yes. No wonder they are fighting you the way they are. Yes. You are about to break the poverty in your family. No wonder they don't want you to be promoted. Yes. Oh, you are about to break through in the name of Jesus in that city where you preach. No wonder they don't want your church there. Yes. But the devil is a liar. Yes. That storm is just a preparation yes. for what the Lord is about to do. Yes. Give your neighbor a high five yes. and say, neighbor, neighbor, the Lord is preparing you. The Lord is preparing you. I feel like preaching in the house. It, sir. The storm is a preparation. Yes. The wind is a preparation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to overcome. Yes. Because you've got power inside of you. Yes. I don't see you dying in the storm. Yes. But I see you getting over to the other yes. side. Your assignment is not yet done. Yes. Touch your neighbor next to you. Say, we are not done. We are not done. Ay, 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 the devil thought it's over with me. Hey. Ah, but the devil is a liar. Yeah. I'm not going to die in my current situation. Yes. Declare to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. You shall not die. You shall not die. But you shall live. But you shall live. To declare. To declare. The works of the living God. The works of the living God. Ah, my purpose is bigger than my situation. Yeah. My destiny is bigger than my struggle. It's bigger. Ah, the plan of the Lord shall be accomplished. Yes. No matter what the devil brings your way. Yes. Glory. Precious sir. Ay, 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 ay. And when he was come out of the boat, immediately he understood why they were fighting him along the way. Somebody is about to get the understanding in the season. Yes, sir. I, 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 I don't know who I, I don't know where, where is my church this side? I need to pray for you guys. Maybe there's a lot of demons. I don't know. Hey. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. God is about to give you understanding. God is about to give you understanding. 
you are about to see why. Hey, I receive it. Is it isn't it the case that whenever we are going through spiritual battles, yes, sir. we always have the question, why? Yes. What's going on? Because in the natural, you are looking around and everything looks good. Yeah. In the natural, you are looking around and you see no reason to be going through what you are going through. Yeah. But then the Lord opens your eyes. He gives you understanding yes. when you've already passed the storm. Yes. To say, here is the reason. Yeah. Woo. Understanding. They met a man with an unclean spirit. And watch this from verse number three. Who had his dwelling amongst the tombs. And no man could bind him. Not even with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And the chains that had been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. But guess what? From verse six now. Or from verse 5. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. He cried with a loud voice and said, What have I done? What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou torments me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, My name is Legion, for we are many. This demon was no longer just an ordinary demon. It was a high-ranked demon. Do you understand that demons can give human beings power? The man, the Bible is telling you and I, the man was bound with chains. And he broke the chains. They put more chains on him. He broke the chains. The Bible even came to a point where it says, no man could tame him. Nobody could deal with him. Nobody could tell him to stop. Nobody could tell him, come to your senses. Nobody could tell him, why are you doing this to your parents? Nobody could tell him, why did you quit your job when you know you are the breadwinner? Why? Nobody could tell him anything. And his dwelling was in the graves. He said, what is your name? He said, my name is Legion, for we are many. Because the spirit that was already in that man was not one spirit. But it was 6,000. Because Legion is 6,000. Legion is 6,000 demons living in one person no wonder he had the ability to break chains and he controlled the whole territory until Jesus came now mind you I want you to understand something are you here? yes sir are you sure? yeah I'm about to mess you up a little bit yes sir, sir. but number two I'm about to bring understanding are you here? Which verse? Were, let's read verse number 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Is it true? Is it true? Yes. Jesus is saying what? Come out. So why did Jesus then afterwards ask him, What is your name? If the demon was already out. It means the demon was not out. Even when Jesus said come out. Because if Jesus said come out and leave this man alone. And then ask what is your name? The man was my name is Thomas. But the man said. My name is Legion. Then that's how Jesus knew this demon is not out. Are you understanding? Now watch this. From verse 10. And he besought him much 
that he would not send him away out of the country. Now there was near unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils were begging, saying, send us into the swine that we may enter into them. Are you here, church? Yes, sir. And with forth, uh, forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirit went out and entered the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. I want you to understand something. Demons were begging Jesus to not deport them. Because it means those demons did not belong there. That's why they were begging Jesus, do not send us out of the country. Because there are demons that deal with certain regions that don't belong in certain places. So being in a certain environment, you become a point of contact for those demons to dwell. So the demons had to make another request. Send us to the swine. They looked for another point of contact because they did not want to be sent into the wilderness. And Jesus, are you here, church? Yes, sir. And Jesus said, go into the swine. And they left the men when they found something else to possess. If Jesus, Jessica, can answer the prayer of 6,000 demons, who are you in this house today? Hey. Oh, Jesus. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. Hey. If Jesus can give and grant the request of 6,000 demons yes. begging him say don't send us out of the country rather send us to the swine and Jesus said okay is that what you want yes he says go how much more oh Jesus the one who's in Pretoria filled with the Holy Ghost yes. worshipping him day and night yes. how much more you yes. who's not asking for a bigger thing who's not asking to destroy the farming business of somebody else you are just asking for the deliverance of your family member oh, how much more you when you pray believing oh jesus if the lord can answer the request of demons you are better than demons are you getting what i'm saying you are better than demons if the Lord can take care of the birds in the morning, they don't even have to worry about what they are going to eat, what they are going to wear, how they are going to sleep, because they know their Father in heaven provides for them. Oh. How much more you and I in the house of the yeah. Lord? If Satan can go into a meeting filled with the sons of God and come before the Lord and say, have you, have you seen Job? Will he serve you for nothing? Come on, let me touch him. And the Lord says, go and touch him. If the Lord can answer a request of Satan, how much more you and I created in the image of God, the royal priesthood of God, the holy nation of God, oh. the blessed sons and daughters of God yes. that were adopted by the Spirit. That's yeah. why now we can come and cry out, Abba! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you are free. Neighbor, you are free. Touch another neighbor, say, neighbor, you are free. Neighbor, you are free. Listen to what I'm saying. The Lord is about to give you power. I receive it. And hear me very well.